gods, wish me luck. 84 hit points each. I can actually get shot off, can't I? Aim for the optics! A, a blood root, that doesn't sound good. Alright, let's step to the side, actually. Oh, I didn't see you, buddy! What the fuck is that? They look like those things from- ow. From what the fuck? They look like those things from Stranger Things, don't they? Little doggies. Thank you, Fidel. <laughs> so my ass there. Are these not who am I in combat with then? As soon as I moved. Holy shit, those things move scary fast. Not enough action points. I'm weak? What is that? Oh shit, I opened my inventory rather than my character screen. Oh, can't open my character screen and come back, can I? Alright, what does weak mean? Oh, I'm not weak anymore, so it's just until the combat's over? So don't get stabbed by those things, essentially. Better me than Alexander, though. I guess. You know what, I'm not looting your meat, there's no point. Literally, uh, Hexagen's got the weight. Fuck it. I don't know whether we should be eating what these guys have, but seeing as it doesn't seem to be classified any different to normal meat. Can I get over there? Nope, I have to go through this. That's not good. I see a body there. Oh, you don't look good, mate. Are you okay? Buddy? I'm glad I'm wearing my gas mask. Oh, those are the things you see in the loading screen sometimes. You see like a, a lab with these things coming out, uh, like growing out. No. Oh, they just come out of the ground. Right, so you don't see them until the combat starts. Holy shit. Fidel, no. I better shoot this. I don't know whether, it'll, whether it's got range, but I don't want it to hit me, because if it does, I'm no good to anyone. I can't fire any shots if that hits me. Ugh. Holy fuck. I just punched the goddamn. You attack. Well, he's effectively dead. When did I quick save last? Oh, quick save in a good place at least. Like if it was Alexander going in there, that'd have been fine. But oh for fuck, he's doing it. <laughs> God damn it! At least he didn't get knocked down this time. Oh, for God's sake. Yes, Fidel, help him. Thanks, Fidel. I committed suicide again, buddy. Just want to get in there now. Let's see. I'm gonna shoot him in the head. Is this thing ranged? Yep, and it weakens you. Oh, God damn. Yeah, I might as well just load. There's no way I can. Uh, I mean, if I can just be a meat shield and my companions deal with it, but. I'm effectively gonna have to sit this combat out. Yeah, can't do it. Yeah. Just got loaded. Right, so just kill those things, they're priority. Everything no well, nothing else matters really. Um I'm just gonna run through this door and start combat.
That one didn't get triggered. Oh, now that one triggered. Can I shoot it? Yeah. Fuck those things. At least I go first. Like, what, before the, uh... Vine things. As well as you know, you can attack because otherwise you're going to go somewhere weird, aren't you? Woof, woof, woof. Right. Stop dead in your tracks. There's something shining above your head. You take a quick look and notice there's a jar of unknown liquid dangling from the ceiling. It's connected to a strange device made out of rubber bands, pencils, and matches. Ignore the trap and move along. Uh, try to defuse the device. You cut the strings that hold the jar and it falls into your hands. Seems like it was full of gasoline and melted rubber and napalm. Seeing how the mechanism attached to the door was trying to shoot out burning matches, you might just save yourself from a terrible flaming death. I can't even think of such a contraption. Did these people have nothing better to do? I can't imagine it would have been nice being in a room with someone burning to death next to you and you're kind of trapped because he's at the only entrance. And exit. Sl Saliva Slorea. I don't feel this is a good idea, but can I drink it? Bottoms up. Nope. Okay. I'll keep it on me though, just in case. Oh yeah, there's another one of those things in a jar. The hell are those? They're weird. They're like mass, like cabbages with big central spikes or stalks. So, boys, can you not get through the door? You blow away the dust that covered the screen of a strange contraption that looks like a huge frame with buttons and various lab equipment attached to a manipulator arms that lie dormant on the other side of the glass. The device starts up. Welcome to the interface of the experimental portal to mechanized laboratory. S. Gulap. Please insert any three samples into the slots. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. I don't have enough stuff. Where are my keys? There they are. What the fuck? Are those all stims? Holy shit. What are those? Helps increase blood flow as well as the flow of oxygen through the body. Okay then, so he took off his gloves to inject himself with whatever that was, and he's dead now. <laughs> I just realized I'm under a big machine, I was like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy isn't going along. Could have just been like killed by whatever the hell this thing is, this manipulator arm.
Guess I can't go in there. Right, I'm just gonna have a oh, over encumbered, aren't I? Uh Right, let's just see what happens if I just insert the toxic purple liquid. It said three things. Pour the liquid. Carefully pour the oily liquid into the opening. A red lamp lights up on the corner of this display. A new message reads, sample taken. Any three samples. I don't know whether I need to do it all in close proximity, so I just load that and we can do that a little bit later. That must be another one. Why is all this pink and purple? No more samples in here, which leaves me with the next few areas then. That would not be good if I walked out there without my weapon. Ah, fuck. Okay, then they were headed for the other goddamn doors as well, weren't they? What the hell? Oh shit. Oh. I was about to head around to help Hexagen out, but... That guy... no, it's almost dead. Oh shit, where did you come from? Come on, buddy. Bite him, doggo. Should just fire at him. Just wipe him out. I don't know, if I get lucky, I could kill this one possibly in one shot. I'm gonna try that. Damn it. I am blinded. Blinded mean I can't shoot at all, or? It's just a very low chance. Yeah, just very low chance, right? I'm gonna just shoot for the body then. Still got a crit. Five attacks in a row, that's just ridiculous. Why? Why would you run over there? Like, I'm feared, so I'm running towards the enemy. What the hell are you firing at? Oh, the one in front of you, okay. Thank you. Why are you guys out of combat? Alexander, you've done nothing so far. Well then just mess around. Holy shit, that was a rough combat. Right, let's heal. I definitely need to heal. I might just eat though, actually. Because we do have a lot of those uh, random cans. Right. Um, that's some meat. What's on your corpse? Page from a scientist's notebook. 
fix I can trust that computer of his all he wants, but I'll continue to insist. One malfunction in the ventilation system and all the circuit boards of his knowledge base will be oxidized by the moisture coming from the greenhouse. It's with this understanding that I ask you all to copy the formula for the composite germicide which can stop these crazy vineyards I help create. Although I could have been doing something more productive with my life if I returned to the GDR at object no 05. Also, just in case, I've avowed this chemical in my safe. Code as simple as my name. Now for the formula. Wait, code as simple as my name. Right. Now for the formula. Oh, hands. Alright, uh. One part of the salvia solera, one quarter less of turbinia corimbosa extraction, two parts of. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Di diacetyl dihydromorphine. And. Two phase preparation, coagulation, centrifuge, and dissolvement in spirits. There's all bars, you can have a look at that. Ah, am I blinded for like a while now? Med kits, use. Oh no, I'll be using it on Fidel. Any of you other guys blinded? No. I can't be asked to take all this meat, there's no point. Let's check you. Oh yeah, healing. Um, right, so I'm at full health. Silbars need some healing. And you guys are fine. Right. Uh, what? And I can't get out of the room because Alexander's blocking the way. Alexander, can you move there, please? Oh, shit. Do I want to head around? I'm probably just going to encounter one of those weakness creatures again. So much else I can do. I'm just going to hold. Yeah, so because Alexander's not moving, I just lost this encounter. Just load the quick save. Uh, where was I? Here. Alright, let's fight these guys first if the Pathfinder's gonna really fuck up. Or, yeah, yeah let's fight him first. Like a rolling stone. Suck it. Did just enough damage to kill him. Ah, fuck. Nice. Okay, let's check. All right, so in this one, there's not much, right? What are you? Kasparamid. And a letter saying, my friend. A strange verse. My buddy never walks the halls because he only lives in walls. He sends me very pretty dreams and when I do bad things he screams. He tells me always do not shoot because killings are forbidden fruit. We will live with him forever, singing, dancing all together. Boy Scout, Kostya Ivanchenko, eight years old. Why do I have a feeling that wasn't written by an eight year old? A horrible, horrible feeling. <laughs> So 
still advise you to take all the meds because you're not going to use the weird ones out of order. You locked? No, surprising. That's a lot of blood. Might just get rid of that gasoline. Damn, there's a lot of good stuff in here. In terms of medicine, that is. Dear Arena, I remind you that Private Ivanchenko may look very healthy indeed, but still I do not allow you to release him from his bed. He must be kept there until you have my written permission to otherwise. If you'd only seen what happened to him that day. On the 17th, Comrade Scientist Dan Levsky climbed on top of a table in the mess hall and started to scream about the big bad military personnel that keeps some poor scientists down here for no reason, because there actually was no nuclear war. Sure enough, Private Ivanchenko intervened. As Ivanchenko tried to grab Danilevsky, the man produced a knife and threatened the private. Ivanchenko stuck the knife in one of the scientist's hands and aimed his rifle at him. However, instead of shooting or hitting the scientist with the rifle, Ivanchenko simply screamed, do not shoot anyone, even though he was the only armed man in the room. He dropped his weapon, grabbed a plate of gravy, went to the eastern wall of the mess hall and started painting the phrase, do, don't shoot on said wall using gravy. Since then, he's been acting like a child, calling himself a Boy Scout. It's not a mental breakdown, that's complete insanity. So I want you to keep him locked up in the sixth bay. Ah, yeah. So, well, there we go. I was validated. <laughs> okay. Let's just have a look at some of the houses. Ah, that doesn't look good. Don't be running off now, dudes. Come on. Stick together. We can't do this on our own. Why am I taking this crap with me? I can't help myself. I don't need to go around, that's what I'm sure. Right, uh, so this room is horribly overgrown. I'm not sure whether I need... There we go. Even an axe or a large machete would not help against such shady plants. You need something much more potent than brute strength. Inspect the living barrier. Seems the plants are covered with green tinted human skin. You turn away in disgust. I do. So, what you're saying is we need that mixture that that scientist is making. This isn't even the red place though, this is the green place. 